Are you using this to be a stepping stone to another position? Are you using this opportunity to be a stepping stone to another position? And the question, initial, original question was addressed to all of you already. Why should we re-elect you when at every opportunity you want to bail out the office of Alderman to run for some other high office that this Congress never made? So since we ended with uh, Skia Morella, we're going to uh, have you answer that. And Bob, promise me, I didn't ask that question because I was up here. Um, seriously though, uh, as I said before, I'm a, I'm a professor, I have a professional career, but I didn't become, uh, I wasn't born with the right to be a citizen actually. I came from this country, I was born in Argentina but grew up in Chicago. And I think I understood what it meant to have the privilege to vote, and I've voted every election since. And furthermore, I think it's our civic duty and responsibility to serve our community. And that's why I'm running. I want to be your alderman, nothing else. I can't be president, obviously, because I wasn't born here, so that's out of the question. But I do want to be your alderman, and I will not be seeking any other office. You can quote me on that. This is not a stepping stone for me. This is such an important job, being someone's alderman. I think that it is the one elected official that really affects most people's day-to-day -day life, whether it's street cleanup, park, garbage pickup, parking, and this is something that I am committed to. I would be a full-time R alderman. I lived in the ward for 13 years. I used to sort of, as I said, oscillate back and forth. I went to college in D.C., and then I came to law school here in Chicago. When I went back to D.C., and I realized how homesick I was. I was born here in Chicago. I was born in Illinois. I love this city, and I love the neighborhoods that make up this ward, and I just want to serve the people in the ward. Thank you. The answer is no, I am not using this job as a stepping stone. I am running for Alderman because, as I said at the very beginning, we are not getting our money's worth as taxpayers. Things are not happening, and things are not getting done, especially in certain parts of the ward. People at City Hall are not doing their job. They're not being held accountable. I will say this, some people at City Hall, and I'm talking at the commissioner level down to the middle management level, need to go, need to be fired. As alderman, I will hold people accountable and I will make sure that you as citizens are getting your money's worth for the services that you deserve, that services are equitably delivered, and that yeah, basically things get done as they should be. The, you know, there just really is a better way to do things, and. It has to do with just getting in there and then doing the job the right way. Thank you. Thank you. You know, this question comes up, and um, I'll tell you, if you do a good job, he bless you to run for higher office. When Danny Davis was seeking the board presidency, his former chief of staff, who has been running for the office, came to me one, one day and asked if I would consider running for Congress because of what we did throughout the war. We, didn't, we had never neglected any block in this war. We have brought services to every block. I wish the people here uh, would join us on, on cleaning greens. We had 600 people the last time. And we start on the west side to clean up our, our ward. You know, and then when they came for mayor, mayor was a different issue. I didn't want to run for mayor. I started, and I never declared I was going to run for mayor. I started going through each and every community. Because we vote on every community during the, during the city council. And it gave me a unique perspective to be in all 70 some communities, all 50 wards. And I did it on Sunday mornings. We started at 6 and we had 10 in the morning. So thank you. Thank you. Um, my answer is no, I'm not using this position as a stepping stone. I care very much, very much about my community. I see a lot of ways in which we can improve and should improve. Um, I see a lot, I see that we give a lot to our city government through taxes, through ticket revenues, through all, all kinds of ways. And I don't think that we get enough back. And so that's why I want to run for Alderman and no other reason. Briefly, no, I do not intend to use the office of Alderman as a stepping stone. Um, that said, I don't think anybody does. And I have to agree with Bob that I think that if you are in the office of 
outcome and, and you do it well and you have proven yourself to be a true leader, there's absolutely nothing wrong with uh, seeking higher office or a different office. I mean, we have a, uh, we've never elected a president in this country who has not previously held a lower elected office.